Hello everybody, it's Fish Boy Sim from the Fish Boy Sim Co. And today, I am going to be making, or I'm showing off, my best moments of 2020. Now, I know this year was kind of hard, but I had some really great moments. And so, I'm just going to be making a video of showing off my best ones. So, let's go. Alright guys, so I got the entrance all nicely done up. So, we got a nice little hipster door here, double sided. And you can close it. And yeah, so I get all the chest arrangements. It's all complete. And I actually added this redstone lamp system so that I know when I can um do the whole like nope, I don't like that trade. Nope. Okay, keep switching. And we have our food, we have our storage, our um sleeping area, and then our um crafting area, and then finally our fuel source. So I say that we're pretty much done. Alright guys, so I did it underneath here is all of is the entire system for the well you can't see it but trust me there is the entire system for getting the item up here now I really wanted to like separate the shulker boxes to have the items come up here but I figured like one if we're selling shulker boxes I'll just sell you like two shulker shells in the chest and two like it was just getting so complex so I just left it and I just said all right you can just take the sugar boxes and your payments, put them up, and put them in here. Today, I'm going to be showing you what you can be re re what can be referred to as, I guess, a, a one-wide staircase wall door. So, I, you know, what, I'm just going to press the show you. As you can see, you a um, four-block-high staircase comes up out of the floor and the wall, leading us into our secret entrance. And then, if you press the button. You can close it behind you. I'm going to be showing off two different combination locks. So first off, we have the numpad one, and then we have a rubber combination lock. And so I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to build both of those, and the event, and which one you should choose for whatever one you want. Hello everybody, it's Fishboy Tim from the Fishboy Tim Go, and today we are on the restart of the community craft server. As you can see, we got a whole ton of people. So, I just want to quickly talk about what I'm, what my plan is, and, oh, of course it's great. Anyway, so, my plan is to basically, so, for a starter house, I want to make the Doofus Mirth Evil Incorporated Tower, just because I saw the idea for that, and so, I just really, I have my heart set on it. And then also, for, then for my mega base, I'm going to be building a castle. So, that's my plans for this world. And, you know, we're going to do some other stuff, but today I'm basically just going to spend the entire day grinding as I want to speed run for diamonds because I need terracotta for my tower. So I need to basically speed run it to just get stuff. So we have it. I have actually completed it and it looks insane. Except for, I forgot, I don't have the dome at the top, but we're going to do that later when we get to a, uh, a sand village or no, not sand village to a desert as i know um one of the other members needs sand so he's working on another portal to the to one of the deserts so i'm just gonna wait for that we're going to be checking out a obsidian farm that's right a obsidian farm i know those are two words that really should not be together in the same sentence but they are now possible thanks to a change in 1.16 which is where whenever an item or player goes through the end portal it will regenerate the obsidian platform meaning that you can mine up the platform then send an item through an uh, item back through and it will regenerate the platform It's been a few days, actually probably more like five days, and I really hated the front, like as it, and I really just started disliking the front and then the entire building. So, I may have gone and teared off the entire roof, moved it up like five blocks, redid the entire out, the uh, entire outside, and yeah, so as you can see, it looks so much better. There's just so much more detail in it. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple blaze farm that requires no redstone and very few resources. 
for the live stream 1.17 was announced, which is the Caves and Cliffs update, and I cannot say how excited I am. So today I'm going to be going over the update and just, you know, like the main features of the update. So let's get into it. Oh no, Bubba just place the flag down and we win. 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 Nice. Yeah, he's spot camping us like I did to them. We win, guys. Guys, we won. We have both flags. Three, three. No, there's only two. You're not at your base yet. No, no, we have both at our base. We're not at your base. Yeah, we are. Where are you? I'm at up your base. top. We're up top at our base. And I'm kind of getting mauled by zombies, but we we have one. 